This is Chef Soraya. We're at the Cork 1794. Say hello. Hey, I'm Chef Soraya. This is a really exciting one for me because I get to challenge someone who I know is extremely talented yeah. with four really rando ingredients that even picking them out, I'm like, there's something here. I don't know what it is though. Now the rules are you have to use these four ingredients. Okay. You can add any two ingredients you want. Any two, okay. Any two. And you can use any cooking fats and seasonings that you want. Okay. So any oils, butter, whatever. Okay. You, whatever you want to do, how you want to cook it, it's totally up to you. And any salts and peppers, that kind of stuff, totally up to you. Cool. So, are you ready to find out what yeah. your challenge is? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, all right. So. Ingredient number one. Okay, what we got? <laughs> yeah, green kohlrabi. All right, kohlrabi. Yeah. All right. So, for the people at home, how would you describe a kohlrabi? Um, it is a root vegetable. It is in the beet family. Um, honestly, this is going to be a challenging one. Okay, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, but it also depends, because it's not very much in season, so I just have to taste it and we'll grow with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dragon fruit. Yes, Israeli right. dragon fruit. All right. It's getting better. I have never <laughs> actually cooked with dragon fruit before. Right, I've eaten it. That's but the I've... easy one. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then... All right, coconut milk. Coconut milk. All right. So... We're in the Asian family. And... Chicken. All right, chicken drums. Chicken drums. So, that's what we got. Those are the four ingredients. And what are okay. your initial thoughts? My initial thoughts... Um, I'm gonna have to taste all of this stuff and see what we're gonna go from there. I'm pretty excited. Okay, awesome. It's your show. All right, uh -huh. sounds good. I'm just gonna make some shit. I don't know, that's what I do. I gotta taste it and make it, I don't know. It's it's this. They don't even look, uh, they don't look ripe. They do look a little light in color, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. How's it taste initially, bad? Oh, it doesn't taste so. Uh, tastes like a like a bad pear. Oh. <laughs> All right. That one a little better? No, but it's. So do you have any initial ideas of what you're gonna make? Um, I'm just probably gonna use use this to cook it down and make it like a some kind of uh, coconut dragon fruit sauce. All right. Um, depending on how ripe this dragon fruit is, is, is probably going to be the challenge, I think. But this is like kind of the texture of jicama, so I think um, almost like a salad. All right, you said any oils, right? Any oils you want, yep. All right, let me get some sesame oil then. Uh, imagination. Let's check this dragon fruit out. What would you say your specialty or your favorite thing to make, type of food to make is? Um, my favorite thing to make it, pretty much any kind of fish. I love a pan seared fish. Anything in the saute pan is really delicious. Um, I think it takes certain finesse to make anything in a, in a saute pan. Anyone could throw anything in the oven. Yeah. Well, this actually looks pretty good. It's, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little out of season. It's not very sweet. It's nice. Mm. Let's think Asian spice. All right, we got a little five spice going, a little Asian. We got a little five spice. Little sesame seeds. Flavorless. All right. Flavorless. 
so I picked a whole bunch of unripe, flavorless things for you. Yeah, 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 I love that. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. a, little, a little salt, a little sugar, we'll fix it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I just put shit together and it just works. <laughs> Rub these all down. A little pop. It's actually gonna be pretty damn good. Yeah, so we're kind of cheating a little bit since I you said I could use oils and fats. Yeah, yeah. So I can eat an ingredient. Yeah. I'm like, that's the whole, I'm like, all right, butter. <laughs> I know, I'm still trying to think what other two ingredients I'm gonna to add to this. So really throw it over. Building some ag aromatics. I'm like, that's actually turning out pretty well. I'm just thinking of what I should waste my ingredients on. I'm gonna toss these in the oven. You, the bacon in here, yeah. I think I'm gonna just saute some vegetables up. Carrots and Brussels sprouts. All right, I chose vegetables. Need some color. Everything else tastes good already, so it doesn't need much. Just keeping it more on the Asian theme and they're nice and vibrant colors versus this not so cute brown sauce, even though it's pretty tasty. What tips do you have for like anybody that cooks at home for like trying random ingredients? I think the biggest thing is just don't be afraid to try things that you think that wouldn't work. Um, that's the biggest thing for me, um, especially creating all the specials here, the pork. Like um, I literally just look in the cooler and I've done halibut like 30 ways already by now. So just really just trying new things. and. I'd say 95% of the time it's worked so far. So it's a pretty pretty big so far. But I, I think the same thing all the time. I'm like, wow, it actually works. A little cinnamon. It seemed like you tasted that and thought it was missing something. Yeah, it's a little, for some reason, I just want to add a little cinnamon. Um. I'm not sure. I honestly didn't try it yet. It just sounded right. It just sounded just. right. <laughs> it added an interesting color, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, a little bit of a, more of a, um, a spiced, um, plus it's the season, a little bit more spiced stuff. All right, let's give this some color. So how many tasting spoons do you guys go through in a day? Oh man, it's a crap ton. <laughs> At least me, I usually just keep a handful. I walk around with a handful. A bit more five slice. Yeah, it's every, it definitely interesting. <laughs> oh, you're good. Get a little more coconut for extra creaminess? Yeah, or? extra creaminess, yeah. yeah. Give it a little bit of body.
toast them up. So be careful if you're ever gonna toast sesame seeds. They, they tend to pop. Look at that nutty, toasty flavor, and then dump this sauce in there. Mm. I see she's, she's there. And I'd say we're about there, just waiting on this chicken. And what did you cook the, what fat did you use in the vegetables? Sesame oil as well. Okay. The only thing I would wish I could add, honey, honey. You can use this ground ginger though on the vegetables. I'd say about two minutes or about two minutes out. But what are you working on there? Um, I just fried up a little bit of the leaves and I'm gonna put it as a little bit of a garnish. Yeah, it's good. It's light and flaky. It's probably good for you. I mean, I eat Hot Pockets, so. Actually, I ate a little, I ate scallops last night, so. But normally I'd eat like uh, peanut butter and jelly after work. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly normally. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. I don't know what to call it, but we got ourselves some drum, some chicken drum best with the dragon fruit, um, coconut milk sauce, and some carrots and Brussels sprouts to, to, to go aside with it. Not sh I think, uh, awesome. yeah. Uh. yeah. <laughs> Pretty good for some unripe. Fruits and veggies. <laughs> Pretty pumped. Luckily, I came hungry. Now, what did you think of those ingredients first off? They did not make sense. Um, and they are under ripened. I was set up from the beginning. But, you know, this is what I do. So I think I nailed it. Right it looks on. good and it's, it tastes pretty good too. Nice. So, what other, do you have any other tips for anybody at home, like cooking at home for like um, just Just don't be things? afraid to jump in and just taste it. Just. It usually works, uh, even if you don't. Like, I throw chocolate in the craziest things sometimes, and it just works. Um, nice. Just don't be afraid to take risks. Uh, let's freaking do it. Money. <laughs> Did you say money? <laughs> Tonight's feature is. <laughs> Would you serve that in the restaurant? Yeah. I mean, I'd make it look better, but yeah. Better than that, because that looks awesome. Yeah. Um, more vibrant, I think. Maybe some more, some red, like a tomato. Oh, okay. Some more colored. That's an yeah. So, what would you do differently with those ingredients? Um, I would first, I'd use fresh ginger. Um, add some honey to it. It's a little um, pungent. Okay. Kind of tone it down a little, with some uh, sweetness. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's like real toasty with that uh, those toasted coconut. Uh, uh, sesame seeds. Yeah, and there was a lot of sesame oil in the entire dish, so that. I love sesame oil. And now I know I can predict like one of the questions that I'd probably receive is like people are so afraid to use oils like sesame oil because all of these people online will be like, it burns so low. Yeah, just but like, don't, don't be in a rush to, don't, don't crank the flame on it. Yeah. Um, Would you whip up Sheffy? Um, I don't know, we got um, goulash, oh. I don't know. <laughs> That's righteous. Let me get another. Yeah, I don't know. I just threw some stuff together. I don't know. That sauce is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I would not have expected it to taste like that. Yeah, well it's, done. In it's interesting. Do you have any tips for me for the next, my next uh, victims? 
the chef victims for the? Um, no, I think it was pretty, I think it, anyone that's, you know, been doing this a while, this is a big, it's a nice challenge. It keeps you on your toes and it, it was really fun. You awesome. know? Even towards the end, I just was like, oh, it's missing something. And I just chopped up the root, you know, and yeah. fried it and threw it on top. And it's good. That crunch probably tops off the entire dish, to yeah. be honest. Like, you, I would have never, I probably wouldn't have used Kohlrabi isn't really one of those things I really use anyway. Yeah, I mean, often. you're definitely not using kohlrabi leaves but, either, but that, um... Yeah, that leaf was incredible. So you just fried that yeah, and then seasoned it. Yeah, just fried it in salt and pepper. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, any part, any other parting words of wisdom? No, um, <laughs> just keep cooking. Yeah, don't be afraid to try anything. Right on. I appreciate you. Anybody else want to taste this? All right, you guys can all eat mine. Put my food in your mouth. Eat my food.